the history between Columbia and Sullivan and Cromwell is really remarkable. And I've been uh, one of the co-heads of Columbia Recruiting for a lot of years now. And it goes, it, it it's really an easy uh, story to tell because it starts with the founding of our firm. And um, one of the, the two founders of Sullivan and Cromwell was a Columbia Law School graduate. And just the number of partners and associates over the years who come from Columbia, um, it, it's sort of, you know, two great institutions which have grown up in parallel. And, and this is just this terrific um, relationship between the two that I think is really almost, you know, unmatched. And part of it is is just proximity, but it's also, um, you know, it's got to be something more than that. It's having sort of the, the, the culture of the New York legal practice so deeply you know, embedded in both places, up and in, including our you know, current chairman, Joe Schenker, who's a Columbia alum. So it's really from, from the founding of the firm to the current day. I'm thinking back to my years at Columbia Law School, and uh, my very first year contracts professor was Jerry Lynch, who uh, is now an esteemed judge of the Second Circuit. But he uh, went on to clerk and um, eventually worked in the U.S. Attorney's Office. And he was part of the reason, as a role model of mine at Columbia, part of the reason I ended up going to the U.S. Attorney's Office. And uh, he was the chief of the criminal division when I was an assistant, which was a nice sort of uh, reunion. And then he later uh, helped me get in touch with the faculty, and I ended up teaching uh, trial practice seminar at Columbia for a couple of years. Also, thanks very much to, to Judge Lynch's uh, intervention. So. The relationship between my pra the way my practice evolved and my education at Columbia Law School is very direct, and uh, I'm happy to be on the board of visitors and still get up to the campus uh, a couple times a year, and um, it's wonderful to see Columbia doing so well.